look more like New York or San Francisco with a tent city taking over. Families complain they can no longer take their children to the park. Tonight, city leaders say that's about to change. CBS 12 News reporter Madeline Montgomery is live at John Prince Park in Lake Worth Beach. And Madeline, where will these people all go? Liz, that's the big question. And we really don't have an answer yet. Right now out here at John Prince Park, there are around 90 tents and the county mayor says it's his intention to have all of these and the people who live in them gone, but there isn't a clear path on where exactly they'll go. Oh, it was beautiful. I used to ride the kids on their bike all around the park. Patricia Bevilacqua has been coming to John Prince Park for decades. It was a place she took her kids, then her grandkids, but things have changed. I was in shock when I seen like almost 197. I don't know how many tents were in there. And I was amazed that, you know, they did this again. A homeless community is quickly growing in the park. It's unacceptable and things are changing. Palm Beach County Mayor Dave Kerner says that change is an eviction of the people living in these tents. Having met with the sheriff, having met with the county administrator just as early as yesterday, but going back several months, action will be taken and removals will begin soon. Mayor Kerner was vague with plan details. There are things that we can do to, to ensure that removals take place, wraparound services are provided, and, and even making sure that those that are in there that have warrants are taken to jail, given trespass warnings, things of that nature. He says the end game is to have this park back to being family friendly. Not acceptable to have one of our public parks used as a place where uh, really a, a community is starting of homeless people. So people like yeah, Patricia can keep visiting. Oh, yeah, there are like a million playgrounds. Over there. Mayor Kerner did not give us a specific date on when these tents are set to be moved, and he didn't give a specific location as to where these people are going to go. We're now live in Lake Worth, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News.